So we now move on to the next set of exam questions, testing the growing up section of the revision guide. So uh, let's look at the first exam question, zoom in and begin. So the question reads, this question is about growth. Kate and Steve are twins. The graph shows how their mass changes as they grow. So as can be seen from the graph, mass in kilograms on the y-axis, age in years on the x-axis, and K is the dotted line and Steve is the solid line. So for one mark, the first question is asking, for how many years was Kate heavier than Steve? So the first thing to do is to locate which part of the graph to actually look at. So where it, the graph shows that Kate is heavier than Steve, of course, is here, but the dotted line is higher up than the solid line. So now what you need to look at is how many years was the dotted line higher up than the solid line? And of course, that's one square, two squares, and half a square. Whenever you're looking at a graph, you can only read to the degree of accuracy of half the square. You can't do like 20% of the graph or one third or one quarter and then three quarters. You can only read to the degree of accuracy of half the square. So therefore, a whole square plus a whole square plus half a square will give you five years. So the answer is five years. So between which ages was Steve growing at the fastest rate? For another one mark question. Well, this is also testing your how you read the graph. It's about the degree of accuracy and where you look for the graph to show that Steve is growing at the fastest rate is you're looking for the steepest part of the solid line. And that, of course, is the beginning here, where it's, all, it's the closest part of the solid line that's vertical, the steepest part. And you need to compare that to make sure, because the other steepest part for Steve's graph is about here. And when you compare this section to this section, this part still looks more steeper. So therefore, the answer is, well, even if it stopped about 40% in, and it's not really halfway through the square, you have to round to either half of the square or the whole of the square. So in this case, you'll be rounding to half the square. So the answer is between 0 and 1 years. So between which age was Steve growing the fastest rate? 0 to 1 years, 1 mark. So because you don't really have to write much, these two marks really could have been gotten just by reading off the graph in less than 30 seconds. So the next question, which is a continuation of this question, reads... Kate and Steve's dad planted a tree in the garden when they were born. As the tree has grown, its mass has changed in a different way from Kate and Steve's masses. Draw a line on the graph to show how the mass of the tree has changed. It has not been trimmed and the growing conditions have been good. Right, so for one mark, you got to look for the key words. The growing conditions have been good, hasn't been trimmed. So basically, as it is, you know. So where um, from the revision guide should you look for some help is basically here on the growth section of the plants. And we are told that an animal will eventually stop growing, but given the right conditions, many plants can grow continuously. Growing continuously, that's very important. So if we return back to the exam question, the whole point is the graph needs to reflect that information. And the only way you can do that is you make sure that the graph does not level off. The leveling off shows that it's not growing continuously. So it doesn't have to be a straight line, but the general idea that increasing in years will result in an increase in mass in kilograms is what your graph needs to show. So generally, a graph that looks like this, it could even be like this, just really slow. But the point is, it doesn't level off. That's the most important thing. So that's it for one mark. So finally, for this exam question, growth involves cell division. Where in the tree does cell division mainly happen? So for one mark, they're asking you a higher tier material question, which basically the answer is, cell division is mainly restricted to the tips of the roots and the shoots. And this one sentence is what you need to mention to get your one mark to give you a total of four out of four in less than a minute. This question is all about plotting graphs. So if we zoom in and let's begin. So Gary and Peter are twins. They both came from the same fertilized egg. Like all infants, Gary and Peter are monitored by a health visitor to make sure they are growing normally. Their masses are measured every three months. So the table shows their masses. So the age in months going up in three months intervals and then Gary's mass and Peter's mass. So Peter's mass has been plotted on a graph already. Finish the graph by plotting the mass of Gary. The first three points have been done for you. So for two marks, let's see what graph you need to plot. Just your normal standard graph. Intervals already going up in three months along the x-axis and the y-axis is mass and kg. So if we return back to the uh, exam question. So to finish off Gary's, because we know it goes up in 3, 6, 9, 12, you know, going up in three months intervals. So let's go through three points. This is 8, 9, and 9.6. So if we go to here, we know it will be 8, 9, 9.6. So for the two marks, basically, you this is where people lose marks, is when they get careless, that you got to read the points off carefully. 
So if the 8 is here, well, that's obvious. And the 9 is halfway, so you count f um, 5 in because there's 10 squares here. So if it's 9, you count 5 up. So it would be 9, 9.6. 9.6, you got to count 4 away from the 10. So the whole point is don't be careless when you're plotting in the graph, okay? Because easy marks can be lost from there. So the next question, it asks you to draw the best curve for Gary. So for one mark, after plotting in the graphs to get you two marks, now they want you to draw the line of best fit. Now the key thing to remember here is that because there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's about nine plots in total, what you have to make sure is at least about five or six, at least more than half of the points go through the curve and that will get you the one mark. And that it has to be free flowing, that you're not drawing it from with a ruler, straight line, straight line, straight line from dot to dot. It has to be free flow as shown in the example above where it doesn't go through every point but you see it goes through most points and by most it's at least half so the next question the health visitor is concerned about Gary suggest why well it's pretty obvious because if you go to the information even if you didn't draw the graph you're told that they're twins and that the last two points they start to level off and as twins I mean why is it that Gary is so much lighter than Peter so the concern is that Gary might be underweight and by saying that that will get you the one mark that Gary might be underweight. We have another exam question about plotting the graph. So it tells us that Katie is two years old. The table shows her mass changed as she grew. So the age in months and the mass in kg. So the age running along in intervals of three months along the x-axis and uh, on the y-axis is the mass in kg. You're told to use the data in the table to complete the graph. Finish the graph by drawing the best curve through the points. So basically plot the graph and then draw a line of best fit for two marks. So one mark for completing the next one, two, three, four points and one mark for drawing the line of best fit. So as mentioned already, don't be careless when plotting in the points, count the squares accurately, plot them in these four. And then for the line of best fit, make sure more than half of the points go through the line in order to get the mark to give you a total of two. So between which ages did KT grow at the quickest rate? So for one mark, you're basically looking for the steepest part of the graph and it looks like it's here between zero and three months but if you did not want to read off the graphs to give you the answer what you could do is find the difference between each of these numbers and the one with the greatest difference will show you the great the fastest growth rate and that will be your answer so if you look at it 5.1 take away 2.6 it looks like that's the biggest difference if you do quick estimations you can see that the answer is between zero and three months so moving on to the next exam question, the final one for this growing up section of the revision guide. The scientists inject stem cells into the heart muscle. They hope that the stem cells will repair the damaged muscle. What are stem cells? So for one mark, yeah, what are stem cells? So the answer is, stem cells are undifferentiated animal cells which can specialize and develop into different types of cells, tissues, and organs. A model uh, definition to memorize. And finally, stem cells can be extracted from human embryos. Describe two reasons why some people might object to the use of stem cells. So for two marks, you're basically asked to recall against. So they could have reworded the question differently and asked what's in favor. I mean, what reasons would be in favor of stem cell? And, but in this case, you're being asked against. But the point is, you have to memorize these two because the questions can swing either way. You don't really need to uh, memorize this. This is kind of like explaining what it's about building up to why you need to memorize this two here. Now, the thing is, they're asking for two points against, and they're only given one here. So you kind of need to use your common sense. Like, there's, there's not really a right or wrong answer as long as you can justify it. So the first one will be, it's wrong to experiment on embryos because they have the potential to become human beings. Second one could be, you know, it's against a person's religion. You know, it's immoral, it's unethical, stuff like that. So just kind of make it up when you ask these kind of ethical type of questions as long as you can justify it.